Hey everybody, it is day 30! And if you have continued this long, I salute you, I honor you. And even if you haven't, if it's been spotty or you felt compelled to dip into videos here and there as opposed to every single day, that's fine too. Allow yourself to work with your own rhythm, um, your own intuition. Because this is an activated space, you may need more integration time in between sessions because it's something that's intangible. The space that I'm creating and activating um, is not a connect the dot sort of linear path to creativity and freedom in our lives, right? It is a progression and we take the bits that we need at any given moment. So there may come a time when you want to revisit this series and you feel like that energetic boost every single day is something that your system can handle and or you may feel like I just need this one or I just need this one and you can honor that right this whole process is about intuition and following your own rhythm and flow and allowing your natural expression to come out in order to do that we have to allow our expression to come out naturally and not force it thus we are creating the space every day or not every day if that is not your path um, but we are setting aside time to sit down and create and to allow that expression to come through, but we're not forcing it to come through. So we don't sit down and say, I have to complete this and I have to do this and it has to look like this. None of that. Instead, we sit down and just see what happens and that gives us permission, um, gives our souls and that deep, dark, you know, juiciness inside of us to begin to take little tentative steps out into the open and as we take little tentative steps and we see that we're okay and we see that actually there's this bright sunshine out here and the sunlight is flooding our lives and we're full of joy and new opportunities are cropping up and all these things start to cascade and open up then we can see and feel the results but the results aren't the reason that we're doing this in the first place in order for our authentic self to be able to fully express and reveal themselves, we need to be able to completely detach from outcome and to be able to do this for the process, for the experience, for the joy that we're allowing in each moment. Because the more we express ourselves authentically, the more joy gets unleashed, the more of that magical energy comes out into the open, becomes expressed, fills your field, and then the more magical opportunities we can uh, attract, magnetize. So. With that soapbox moment over, uh, let's get going with day 30. All right, so quick review. This was day 29, and we are moving right along. So for day 30, I wonder what will happen. Um, the first thing I'm feeling compelled to do is to pull out these little Colorverse inks I have. These bottles are super cute. Uh, this is a brand of inks that I discovered on jetpens.com. That's not a Colorverse ink. And so I'm just pulling them out of this bag I've got over here. And I am going to move them aside and wet my paper all over, liberally applying the water. And as always, see what comes out. If you have participated in a series of days, even if it's not the full 30, even if they're not days in a row, you'll probably have noticed um, you know, a difference. Some days I create more frantically, some days I create from a more um, slow, methodical space. And no matter what, Keep adding more water as this is kind of drying up because it is a warm day. I'm simply going to pour some ink onto the page. Go. Um, gonna put that back in and kind of dabble that around. Ooh, I really love that color. Uh, that was the Golden Record color by Colorverse Inks. And now I'm going to add in. Some of this is called Pale Blue Dot. And so I'm gonna drop a little bit of that in. So 
a little more than I anticipated, and everything is perfect. There are no accidents. Ooh, and that's really cool when they mix as well. Um, so I've got that down there. Gonna allow that in over there. And you know, I was gonna add one more ink. Um, I'm feeling the urge to add one more ink. Gonna add this um, pearlescent. So these are some of my favorite inks, the FW Pearlescence by De La Rowney. Um, they are super delicious, as you are about to see, right? Dab that around, add that to the mix, add that to the mix. And I am filling up the space, so there's no need to fill up the space. I'm simply feeling inspired um, to fill up the space. And allow that to be. Um, Really liking that, the way it is, to be honest. <laughs> Completely accidental, and I am really, really digging it. Um, so, this might even be it. This might even be the completion. Um, I am feeling compelled. I'm gonna pull out one more. This is the Interstellar Space Ink. Let's see if I have a smaller paintbrush still out here on the deck. I've got a bunch of my larger paintbrushes. Here's one. Just kind of a random, a Karan Dash. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to dip my paintbrush into this ink and I'm just going to spatter. If you've watched my other videos, you know how fond I am of spattering. And... See what happens there. All right, and with that, I am gonna call our spread complete. All right, so that took less than five minutes. <laughs> and it was totally accidental, but how much fun is this? Look, looking closely, um, you can see the texture. You can see the glimmer from the pearlescent ink. Uh, you can see a lot of the wet media and how it is reflecting light just from being in the light. I get close, get in, close and personal there. And I am just loving, now I'm remembering why I have so many inks, because they are just delicious. So with that, this is gonna be our final spread for the 30 days. And how refreshing was that? <laughs> I mean, really, how refreshing was that? Um, my pages just flew over onto each other, but here is a gorgeous spread for day 30. And I still have more pages in the sketchbook, so I can, I'm probably going to use them to continue this practice. Um, whether or not I'm gonna video has yet to be determined. I'm feeling like maybe a couple days of integration and then this challenge is going to morph slightly where either I'm going back through previous pieces and feeling into if now that each piece has served its purpose in its base foundation form, if that energy is now integrated and now that piece is ready or that spread is ready for another layer of energetic activation. Because we could theoretically do this over and over and over again. We could work with the same piece day after day after day and just sit and ask, you know, is this energetic in activation slash integration complete? And is there another layer that can now be added to deepen the magic, to deepen the portal, um, to make it an even more <laughs> activating experience? Uh, so that is one way that we could approach things. Another way is to, you know, now that we've had this time to play around every day, to shorten the time frame and say, okay, I have five minutes a day, bam, that's it, really to allow ourselves 
to get even deeper into the intuitive, the call and response of um, the energetic activation. What am I being called to create? How am I going to create it in the moment without any premeditation? There's no time for premeditation. There's no time for um, sorting out supplies or deciding on this or that. It's grab and go, and then um, that can take us to another layer of intuitive call and response. So there are some different ways that this can evolve. Um, I'm grateful for those of you who are in the container at the moment and those who are meant to be in the container in the future. And uh, I will keep you updated. Please keep posting your feedback, keep posting your own insights, your own wisdom that is coming through as you experience and deepen your own presence in this energetic space. Um, with that, that is day 30. And thank you for accompanying me on this journey. And uh, I can't wait until the next evolution revolution.